<laughs> okay, good afternoon. It's actually Saturday, the uh, 11th of March, and I'm in southern New Hampshire. And um, this is related to the electrical wiring trade. I'm actually underneath a power line in uh, Troy, New Hampshire. And uh, I've been here a number of times, one of my favorite places to go. Not under the power line, obviously, but... <laughs> What I, you know, what I have here is you can see a warning sign. Hazardous voltage, keep away, authorized personnel only. Will shock, burn, cause severe injury or death? And you can see the power lines up above. And I'm not sure, but I can hear the wires humming. It almost sounds like a bunch of bees, uh, whole bunch of angry bees so what I'd like to know okay for electrical wiring is if you're working in this type of field how do you make yourself safe if you're a power line worker how do you keep from getting fried okay that's one question the second question is how high up could say someone walk if they if they happen to have the gumption so to speak if they happen to have i should say maybe the foolishness how high up would you have to go before you would get electrocuted in other words remember potential difference electricity wants to go to the ground okay so the close so if you're between ground and electricity you're you might be a conductor so Okay. Just want to know about that. All right. Uh, that'll be part of a little bit of an assignment I have in the future. Okay. So in the meantime, I'm going to walk away from these things. There's also a thing called EMF, which maybe your instructor will talk to you about. Have a great day.